What bottles of bourbon did I get for the month of November? Let's find out. What's going on everybody? Nathan here with the Everyday Drinker bringing you guys my November bourbon and whiskey store haul. So without further ado, let's get into bottle number one. Bottle number one goes to a bottle that is going to be a staple on my shelf starting after getting this bottle. This is the Old Forester 100 Proof Rye. It is the brother to the 100 Proof Bourbon. And my goodness, it is fantastic. It has a fantastic flavor profile for mixing. And it is a staple that is going to be on my shelf. Before we get into bottle number two, make sure you guys are liking, commenting, and subscribing down below. Helps the channel out like you wouldn't believe. We just hit 1,500 subscribers, and I can't thank you guys enough for the love and support. You want your chance to win a bottle of Eagle Rare? Make sure you drop that subscribe, because at 2,000 subscribers, we're giving away a bottle of Eagle Rare. But let's get to bottle number two. Bottle number two goes to the fourth iteration of the Architect series by Penelope. This right here is build number four. Still coming in at 104 proof. Have not cracked the seal on this bottle yet. I'm waiting to do a uh, full review on it, and then we're going to do a blind with all four of them to see which one comes out on top. Bottle number three goes to my first Sagamore product. This is the Sagamore Double Oak. This bottle comes in at 96.6 uh, proof. Cracked it open last week just because I couldn't wait to do a review on it. And my oh my, is this just, uh, it, it is amazing juice what is inside this bottle. And uh, I, I've been sleeping on this for a while. It usually comes and hits stores and like one or two sit on the shelf. Um, there were one or two hit the shelf and they're gone in an instant. Walked into one of the uh, local liquor stores and it was sitting there. I said, why not? I got to pick it up. So snagged this bad boy up and uh, it is darn good uh, rye whiskey. Bottle number four is one that I can't get here in New Jersey. So I have a buddy, Trenton, over in Indiana. He uh, was able to hook me up with a bottle of early times bottled in bond. This stuff lives up to the hype. It is absolutely fantastic. I had a sample sent to me from Andrew, a fantastic subscriber, but I was able to get my hands on a full bottle of it finally, and uh, this stuff is darn good. I can't wait for it to hit more states, and I hope it hits New Jersey soon because this is going to be a staple on the shelf as well. Bottle number five goes to Evan Williams, 1783. This bottle right here, it might be one of the best bottles under uh 30 dollars this is a new one on the shelf I've had a sample of it. it was fantastic the sample made me want to go buy a bottle i haven't opened it yet because i do want to do a review on it for the channel because this might be a fantastic sleeper bottle that a lot of you guys don't know about for under 30 dollars it's also 90 proof so um it's it's not that like oh my god high proof like high flavor but the flavors that are in here are condensed and they are absolutely magical Bottle number six was a bottle that was eluding me for a very, very long time. And we just did a review on it on the channel. And that is going to be Larceny Batch C922. This was sent to me by a Patreon subscriber, uh, Mike. Mike, you are an absolute fantastic guy. Absolutely love you for sending this to me. It means the world to me. This bottle right here was absolutely fantastic. And uh, you're lucky, Mike, to have a couple of backups. But this one right here... Can't wait to do a, um, a blind of all three of the Larceny uh, uh, batches that came out this year to see which one is actually my favorite. But let's get into the next bottle. So I live in central New Jersey. My fiance absolutely loves wine, so we're not too far from the Finger Lakes, uh, which are up in upstate New York, really known for their Riesling. Um, they do they do fantastic stuff up there. We got a couple of bottles of wine, but they also have a distillery up there, the Finger Lakes Distillery. And uh, I made sure to pick up a bottle of the McKenzie Finger Lakes Distillery, uh, just bourbon, uh, straight bourbon. This comes in at 91 proof, and uh, it's a higher rye bourbon. Um, has that like little funkiness going on in it. Um, would really make, in my opinion, a good mixed drink. Um, sipping it neat was really good as well, but after a day's worth of wine, really didn't remember the flavor, so I gotta dive back into this bottle. 
Bottle number eight is one that you guys know I absolutely love. And I'm telling you, every time I see one, I'm going to pick one up. And that is another Blue Note Juke Joint Uncut Unfiltered. This one is from my local liquor store, Adelphia's. This bottle comes in at 117.2 proof. Uh, it is barrel number 17005. So if you guys have a bottle um, from a local barrel, let me know down in the comments because uh, uh, Barrel Brothers is always a fun thing to have. But uh, fantastic stuff. I did a tasting of it um, at a, uh, a bourbon tasting, and it was just absolutely amazing. And uh, wanted to snag the bottle when it was released. It was released last week, so I made sure to snag it. Moving into another bottle that I really, really wanted for a while. Um, you know, you have your traditional old overholt at, uh, what is it, 84 or 86 proof. But this guy right here is the old overholt 114 proof. It is a $25 bottle of, of rye whiskey that um, I feel is going to stand up to dilution really, really well in a lot of cocktails. Might be good by itself, not quite sure. Going to have to do it, going to have to try it out. But uh, I know that this bad boy right here is going to be fantastic in mixed drinks. Next bottle we got this month is another bottle of Eagle Rare. Got this right at that MSRP mark at $39. Fantastic bottle. If you can find it for under that $50 mark, I always recommend it. That's what I said in yesterday's video for um, best Christmas gifts. Don't spend over 50 bucks for Eagle Rare. It's not worth the hype. But right at that MSRP mark, it is a fantastic bottle of bourbon. And finally, we're getting into the birthday bottles. What did I get for my birthday? So um, my buddy Dillinger um he's able to find this down in south jersey i really can't find this up here in central jersey all too often if i do see it he got it for msrp um old granddad bonded this is a fantastic bottle um absolutely love it it, it, it stands up to a lot of things um for that like 34 dollar mark it, it it uh it's a sleeper bottle in my opinion that a lot of people don't know about um, so yeah, always recommend OGD bonded. Uh, next bottle for my birthday that I got. Next bottle that I got, uh, my buddies, uh, Dan and Patrick got me a bottle of Blanton's. Absolutely love you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, this is an S horsey. It's one that I didn't have. Um, so always recommend Blanton's, but thank you, Dan and Patrick. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. What believe. And final bottle that I got for my birthday and the final bottle for this list um, my friend Sam and her uh, boyfriend Tim got me a bottle of rye whiskey here um, from Independent Spirits in uh, Central Jersey. It's one of their favorite distilleries. They were starting to finally sell some of their stuff. This is a bottle 18 of Batch 1 Barrel 1. So this is a very, very um, exclusive bottle from the very beginning of their uh, distillery. Really, really cool to have. Um, so I'll definitely be opening this bad boy up and uh, seeing what's the juice, seeing what the juice inside is all about. Really excited about that. Comes in at 88 proof, so it's a little bit lower on the proof. But hey, um, having a beginning uh, bottle from a distillery, that's pretty darn cool. So that's going to do it for my bottle lineup uh, and store haul for the month of November. This, I think, is the most bottles I have picked up in a single month. Uh, had a lot of help from a lot of people. Um, but at the end of the day, um, we're just growing the collection here. We are bringing out fantastic videos. I hope you guys are enjoying everything for the channel. Um, if you have any suggestions for videos, leave them down below. Let me know down below also what you picked up for the month of November. Link for the uh, Patreon is also down below. We're doing the 25 Days of Christmas over there. So that is going to be starting here in the next couple of days. But until next time, this has been Nathan with The Everyday Drinker. Cheers. Thank you.